Hello, I'm Peter Molyneux and I'm the England liaison for IIMHL. IIMHL and IIDL uh, seek to engage leaders to spread innovation, to share best practice and to provide a supportive, creative and safe space for dialogue and conversation to take place. But what style of leadership is it that's required to make this reality across our networks, across our own organizations, and that we might want to promote um, to others? IIMHL and IIDL wanted to begin a dialogue about what the core elements of a leadership style might be that promotes their values and which is relevant to experts by experience, experts by occupation, regardless of the identities um, they may have. So the leadership framework that's been produced is the outcome of a number of conversations across both organizations to identify what leaders felt was important and to begin to pull this together into a framework. The purpose is to outline a number of leadership behaviors that we want to adopt within IIMHL and IIDL and to hold ourselves to account for their implementation. It also sets out a statement of what we believe our own networks, groups, or organizations should be aspiring to. Leadership's a word that often gets qualified. Um, we talk about compassionate leadership. We talk about facilitative leadership. Indeed, we might talk about uh, toxic uh, leadership. Through various conversations that were held in 2020 and 2021, a number of clear themes emerged. Our members talked about the need to be visionary, the need to be strategic, the need to be innovative. And to some extent, those are themes that you might expect any group of leaders uh, to discuss. But they also talked about the need to be collaborative, the need to be authentic, and the need to be inclusive. Interestingly and importantly, it became clear that for our members, being inclusive is one of the most important leadership characteristics. To be an inclusive leader, you must be able to change what you're doing, to enable different perspectives to be heard, and to allow people to feel they can participate and contribute. Organizations all too often behave in ways that do not have a good impact on people. Inequality and discrimination society is imprinted by an organization without realization or recognition. So it's important not just to have diversity of expertise and experience, but also to rise to the challenge of how we hear and respect each other's opinions, that there's fair treatment across the organization. And we recognize that we don't have all the answers and that we need to work collaboratively. Members felt that we need to have the curiosity not to settle for the obvious answers. So it's about listening with genuine interest and curiosity and responding with humility. It's about looking at the evidence and interrogating the data through an equity lens. It's all too easy to look at averages and not to notice that an intervention doesn't work well for everyone or that certain groups are being excluded or not coming forward. At the end of the day, there was a recognition that we are all people organizations, that we need to remain caring and compassionate with a focus on equality and inclusion. But above all, that everyone must feel that the organization cares about them and that they have a sense of belonging. The framework is the beginning of a conversation about how we might develop the leadership behaviors that help us to achieve that. We really do hope that it will develop over time and that we can explore and learn together about what really works. Thank you.